What's up, Jonesers? It's your boy Mandy Claus, and I'm bringing you something special. Now you may be saying, well, what's special about this? This is just the big boy Crown Royal Original, Ordinary Regal Apple, and the brand new Peach. Well, Crown Royal has done something different. And I was able to get my hands on it. Crown Royal took these and made this. What you're seeing in front of you is Crown Royal's newest release. The Whiskey and Cola, Washington Apple, and Peach Tea. Which is a carbonated beverage based off of these three spirits. Now, each one is 7%. Uh, it comes in a 12 ounce can. So I'll open it up. So you can see what it looks like. 12 ounce can. Um, I'll show you some imagery of the actual can itself. It looks like it's an aluminum can that's actually wrapped um, because it has texture to it. I mean, it looks impressive and it feels impressive. 7% um, is a little on the low end in my opinion, but it's probably about the standard when you look at beer or you look at uh, seltzers, things of that sort. So I guess Crown really didn't miss the mark in that aspect. But I know what you really want to know is two things. One, where can you get them from? Well, I'll tell you that at the end. Um, and two, what do they taste like? Well, I've cracked a few, and let's go into it. So here they are. This is the whiskey and cola. We got to start here because this is the original. This is where it all began. It smells kind of like cola. You definitely taste the Crown Royal whiskey kind of effect to it. Um, it has no burn, of course, and I've chilled all of these. It's not like you're drinking an 80 proof spirit by any means, and it's only 7%. This actually tastes like the whiskey and Coke that you would get at a nightclub or a special kind of nightclub, where because it's kind of, the soda feels a little flat, so I wouldn't say this was Coke. I would probably say this was maybe RC Cola. Have you ever had an RC Cola? You know how it tastes? You know, it tastes like Cola, but it doesn't taste like Coke, if that makes sense. Um, so there's a flatness to it. Um, but you do get a whiskey taste in there with it. Um, there's a little bit of slight aftertaste. And if you ever had one of these whiskeys in the can, then you probably know what I'm talking about. So I don't think it's any different than the Jack Jack Daniels one or anything else. Um, Jack Daniels might be a little bit sweeter than this, but overall it tastes like whiskey and Coke. Just the, uh, oh, I'm sorry, whiskey and cola. Um, just the flat cola and, and whiskey. Maybe like it's been sitting on the rocks a little bit. Um, okay, well let's move on. Next up, the one that I am anticipating or I anticipated loving, which is Apple. The Washington apple has tartness like a green apple. Um, it's very reminiscent of uh, the Crown Royal or Crown Regal apple. It kind of does taste like a Jolly Rancher a little bit. But this is actually uh, apple and cranberry. Um, I, I, I do like this the more that I drink it. The thing I don't like is it, it kind of reminds me of a seltzer. And I don't like White Claws and, and all of those. But, I mean, this is really, the more I drink of these, like anything, it grows on me. But it finishes like a seltzer. Um, that, I don't want to make it sound really worse than it is. Apple, I mean, aspirin, kind of reminiscent at the end. But it is, it is uh, more flavorful. Um, than the whiskey and cola. It, it does kind of taste like a Jolly Rancher to some degree. And last but not least, you got the peach tea. Okay. Um, now the peach tea does taste like sweet tea. You do get um, a peach flavoring. That peach flavoring is very reminiscent to crown peach. Uh, I think they really were spot on with that. Now, I will tell you, I'm not a big fan of peach tea. 
Um, I'm not a big fan of Crown Royal Peach and Sweet Tea together. That's just not my thing. But I would say that this tastes the most like Crown Royal and Peach Tea. Like, honestly, this, this is pretty spot on. It actually tastes like you took uh, Crown Royal and you poured peach tea in it. Um, probably, or, or sweet tea in it, you know so. Probably heavy-handed on the sweet tea side. So, I mean, there you go. There's all three flavors. Um, they run about 15 bucks, somewhere in that neighborhood, for a four-pack. And that's a hard sale for me. A couple bucks a can for 7%. I mean, it's a novelty of it. Uh, if you're a crown collector, you got to have one of these cans. Or you got to have a set in your collection. Uh, which one? This is a tough one. I think this tastes the most like what you would expect it to taste like. Uh, I, I do like this the more I drink it. But there, it does, this tastes more like a seltzer. Have you ever had a um, twisted tea? I had one of those for the first time. And this kind of tastes like a twisted tea, if that gives, but but not um, malt licorice, because the uh, twisted tea has a, a, a malt beer taste. Um, minus that beer taste, and I think you got the twisted tea. But this is the closest. And uh, the whiskey and cola really tastes like uh, a whiskey and coke that maybe you left out for a while, or you used a, a cheap cola, um, a RC cola. Uh, in order to mix it with it. But there you have it, folks. I mean, if you've been wondering about the cans, um, I promise you to tell you where. So Crown released them in uh, Texas and in Louisiana. Um, now, if you're in one of those states or around one of those states, you probably can find it pretty quickly, easily. I also have heard people say that they've seen them in Illinois. I don't know where in Illinois, but in the state of Illinois. Um, from what I hear from Crown, these are expected to roll out if they do well. And you know, I think they're going to sell well because, you know, people are really hyped up about them. Um, in 2021, towards uh, the end of first quarter, middle of the year. So um, if you can't find them today, that maybe, you know, next year sometime, you'll be able to get your hands on them and try them for yourself. But just know, you heard it here from Jones and Man first. Um, these are just kind of meh. You know, I wanted them to be delicious. I really wanted that apple to rock and roll, man. But it's just, eh, you know, it's not it's not bad. Um, yeah, but I, 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 I mean, yeah. I can't say anything else about it. It's me. I'll drink them. Will I rush out to buy others? I doubt it. Just keeping it real. Um... Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, at Jones and Band. And of course, if you need any libations, check out cwspirits.com forward slash Jones and Man. I'm going to go with the apple. And we'll see you next time. Clink them and drink them.